Welcome back, Long Riders to Everything Fly Fishing. Today's video, we're going to teach you how to tie a sulfur dry fly that you act like you've never seen before. One is we're not going to use that. that. That's a whip finisher. You can get rid of that because we don't need that in this video. So, in this video, we're going to teach you how to try a sulfur, and they are popping on Loyal Sock. They're popping on Penn's Creek. Every creek we go to had a sulfur, so you're going to want to tie these up and have them. And if you're new here, make sure you click down here in the bottom. There's a little red button to subscribe. And you don't want to miss our tying videos because we do produce the best fly tying videos on YouTube. And so you're going to want to make sure you don't miss any of them by clicking subscribe. And let's get to this vice so we can teach you how to tie a dry fly without you as a whip finisher. And let's get to the vice and begin right now. We are going to start this fly with a size 14 2x long hook and I think it's called Sunfire Yellow 70 denier thread. We're going to tie in some of this floatable uh, yarn, um, synthetic yarn. Um, before you guys call me and say, try and tell me what name of the yarn is, I want you to know there is about 20 different kinds of floatable yarns you can use in this, for this pedestal. And this is going to be our uh, parachute pedestal. We are going to use a couple of strands of deer hair. You're going to want to make sure that when you clip the deer hair off, uh, you take a couple of strands and make them all the same length. And you're going to tie in, I don't know, three or four of them um, for a tail. And when you're tying this tail in, um, we're going to put, you're going to notice we get down to the bend of the hook. We're going to put one wrap under the tail to make it flare up at an angle like that. And, uh, we're also going to clip the deer hair off where we left off with the wing so we can make a steady taper of the body. Now we're going to tie it, put a couple thread wraps in front of that wing to get it to stand up. And then we're going to run our thread up it and that'll make our pedestal to wrap our hackle on and then back down and back down to the tail to start dubbing. We are going to twist that yarn in your fingers to make it tighter and then hold on to that and put thread wraps up pedestal um, this twisting of that yarn will make it more solid and a little bit easier to wrap your thread around
Now we're going to start dubbing. We got a sulfur yellow dubbing. And we're going to start at the tail and go right up to the wing, the dubbing. No, oh, I forgot to tie in the hackle. So we'll tie that in after we get this dubbed. Um, I would think you'd rather probably put the hackle in before you dub. I mean, that's how I usually do, but I just forgot. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it if you forget. Now you take that feather and you're gonna have it stripped off for about a half inch. You're gonna take that up to the top of the pedestal and wrap thread wraps around it. So it's starting at the top of the pedestal and you're gonna start at the top of the pedestal with your hackle and go down. Now we got a little bit more dubbing to this fly to cover up them thread wraps we just used. And we're gonna run this all the way back up to the eyelet and then back to the pedestal. And you wanna add your thread right at the wing or the pedestal you're gonna tie your hackle on. Now you're gonna take super glue and you're gonna stick on your thread for about three inches of your thread. And now you're gonna to wanna to wrap this hackle before that super glue dries. So you take your hackle, wrap all the way down to the base of that wing. And when you get down to the base of that wing, you're gonna take your thread and you're gonna wrap it one wrap over top of that wing and then back down to very, as low as you can, go right at the bottom of that base. You're just gonna keep wrapping that thread around to use all the super glue area up Pull it tight and hold it, pressure on it. Pull it really tight. Don't snap your thread, but pull it as tight as you can without snapping your thread and hold that for a little bit. I like to move around my other fingers to make sure they're not super glued fast to the fly. It's been known to happen. And then you're gonna pull that thread tight and then you're gonna, when you let go of that thread, there shouldn't be any tension on it. And then you cut the thread off. And that's how you, how you do a parachute without using a whip finisher. Now I like to take a pair of scissors and round off the top of that wing to make it more look like a real wing on the actual mayfly. And there you have it. There's your sulfur. Congratulate yourselves. You just tied a beautiful fly. Let's take a closer look.
Hey, I hope you guys liked that tying video. Um, we, I hope you liked how we used the super glue. And before any of you guys get on my case, I've been doing this for the last year and I still haven't yet wanted to fly apart or that super glue to fail. It works really well. Let me tell you a little thing about why I like this as a soft, the softer as a parachute. A lot of your dry flies, I would also tie as a parachute. Um, the parachute, you can just put dry fly coat on the part of the hackle and the wing, and the rest of the body will float or will be underwater, and this makes it look like an emerger. Or you can do the whole body if you're doing a dry fly, keep the whole body above the water. But anyway, they really work as an emerger pattern, and they really work as a dry fly pattern. Um, these are killer flies. You're going to want to have them. And the softwares, like I said, are coming off everywhere. Penns Creek, Loyal Sock, uh, even White Deer out back. Um, they're just popping, so you're going to want to tie these up. Um... I think that's all I have for you on this fly tying video. I'm going to be happy because it's not going to be a long video. But uh, tie some of these up. And if you still haven't done it, make sure you subscribe. And give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't miss any of our videos that are up in here. Um, check out our other, our, all of these. Go back and binge watch our tying videos. Tie all these up so you're prepared for any situation you see or come two on the water so anything that might happen on the water if you go back and watch our playlist most likely we'll be prepared so keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip